we are back in the bathroom. We experienced God this week in a way that we've never experienced before. Our kids have had such an amazing time. They have absolutely loved being out here in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> playing outside all day. And I'm about to like do my skincare while I talk to y'all because I only have a little bit of time. Before I do that, I'm using the Tata Harper Regenerating Exfoliating Cleanser, which we used this at the event that I went to a couple weeks ago and it was so good. So I'm using it today, I brought it with me. And y'all see, I, I repurposed my little, this handkerchief was, came on the little case we got at the event. And I was like, I wanna wear it. <laughs> I put it on Sarai's hair the other night to uh, tie her hair up because I forgot to bring her a scarf for her braids. But today I was like, this is cute. Like, can we do something with it? So I kind of use it as like a hair tie. I tied it um, like this. I think it's so cute. I might put this up in like a bow or I might leave it kind of down. I don't know yet. We're still figuring that part out, but I'm going to exfoliate. Today's our last day here. So I actually brought a huge craft bin for all the kids while we've been here because I just knew at least for my kids that they were going to need some like activities to do because we've been like I told y'all before, we're staying at an Airbnb, but through the daytime, we're at a campsite. And so we are, you know, amongst trees and leaves and rocks and all that kind of stuff. And they have fun in that and with each other. But I knew that like in the times when like, you know, they needed something to spruce up the vibe, we were going to do some art. So I brought a bunch of paint, brought a paint easel, a bunch of paper and all the things for them to have little art moments. And so that's what we did yesterday. And I've kind of, like I had a few different like coloring options. So we had crayons, we had oil pastel crayons, we had um, actual acrylic paint and then little like paint sticks. So like I kind of like throughout the week trickled out things. So I didn't just give everything out at one time. I trickled them out and then I also had a bunch of sticker books which the kids loved the sticker book. So that was like a great idea to have a bunch of them ready for the trip. And honestly, I even had a bunch of the same ones. Like my daughter and another little girl that we've been with all week are both five. And so they like princesses and things like that. So I thought that there was gonna be more younger girls. So I actually got three of the same princess sticker book. And come to find out, I just filtered or I just trickled the same book throughout the week because essentially my daughter and her fr little friend basically did the same book together multiple days. So that was really cute. Like they always did the book together, but like wanted a fresh one <laughs> after about a day. So that worked out perfect. Do y'all see that glow? Like the glow from just this. Like I, I haven't even used anything else yet. This is just a, like a cold, wet towel that my son Micah was acting like he was washing his face with earlier. And I was like, oh my God, because him and his sister were in here messing with stuff they wasn't supposed to be messing with. But it's going to dry my face now. Also, I really feel like homeschooling has prepared me for this trip so much that I didn't even realize that was what was happening. Like literally this trip, I felt so prepared to like keep my kids entertained in a way that I feel like used to scare me in the past. Like, you know, you get used to your routine and the kids get used to their routine. And so whenever there's an opportunity to like break that routine, vacations, trips, stuff like that, you kind of get like mom anxiety about doing it because you're like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna like make sure my kids, you know, stay, entertained and they don't mess with stuff they don't break nothing you know all the things and so you can feel like that anxiety already building before you even plan the trip child even at the mention of a trip you're like oh no like i don't i can't even mentally i can barely handle my kids at home let alone taking them somewhere new you know but one thing that has really helped for me that i realized like homeschooling has helped me really learn how to find joy in doing things with my children. Like 
and honestly not even find just find joy but like sometimes you just don't know like if you're not around a lot of kids before you have kids you don't really know what kids like to do and like what they gravitate towards there can there can be a little bit of anxiousness just with like okay trying things and seeing what sticks and then trying things that you think will work that actually don't work like there are certain like shows and songs that I'll put on for the kids that like they actually don't like and I can tell because they don't ever settle down they don't ever pay attention like they're just not into it and so sometimes that can get exhausting because you're like well other people said that their kids like this and my kids don't like it so like you know it's all these things right but homeschool really pushed me to like figure out what my kids actually liked and that informed me on how to prepare for like days when we're not at the house and like being aware of that so it kind of helped at least for me my like mom anxiety of like making sure that I like have stuff for them to do so like literally I knew my kids like to paint and do sticker books that's a little of the main things they always go for and so that's what I brought with us and that kept them entertained and all the other kids entertained too. Sometimes I feel like we can overthink what our kids want to do. Like we almost treat them like adults. Like I need to make sure you stay entertained. But it's like, no, like, and for us, we try to limit screen time too. So it's like, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to always reach for like a tablet or iPad or whatever, because that's just not how we choose to, um, you know raise our children we're trying to be very mindful of that and so yeah so finding out what they actually like and also like not being afraid to be silly with them <laughs> like i made up this game with the kids like a few weeks ago and literally i sing it every time we're like in a random like transition moment where whether it's like we're waiting to get out of the house but like some of us are ready to go but some of us are not ready to go so i made up this song where <laughs> they sing it with me i'm about to sing it for y'all so basically my sons love dinosaurs and fire trucks and stuff but in the song and sarai likes girl stuff right so in the song it goes i say their name I say an animal and then we make the sound of an, the animal. Okay, that's the routine, okay? So, and y'all can try this with your kids and tell me if it works for them. But it's such a simple way to like get them to pay attention and to be focused and not mess with stuff. So literally, like Micah's, I'll do a voice and everything. I'm like, Micah, dinosaur, roar, roar. And then I do that two times. And then they do it, And but Micah and MJ and Sarai, they like stomp like a dinosaur. Micah, dinosaur, raw, raw. MJ, dinosaur, raw, raw. And then I switch it up for Sarai. So Sarai, Sarai's is <laughs> so funny. I'm so glad we were trying to do this for y'all. Um, Sarai's is Sarai, unicorn. Now that's is glitter okay because <laughs> i don't know what sound a unicorn makes <laughs> but unicorns have glitter so we do sarai unicorns there we go mj dinosaur raw raw and we just do that over and over and we added like we added in madison and hers is is cat so we do madison kitty cat meow meow it's so silly it's so silly and just so random but it's fun and it honestly keeps the kids super tapped in and I don't have to worry about them like just getting into stuff which helps me in the long run okay so don't be afraid to get a little silly with your babies because I would feel awkward doing stuff like that before and like oh, I'm not gonna do all that you know but as I've been homeschooling and just being around them, like they love being silly. And once I stopped feeling awkward about being silly, like that really unlocked something for me as a mom. So now I'll be out here. My God. <laughs> I'm literally making myself laugh and I'm by myself in this bathroom right now, child. But yeah, so try it, try it because 
I know like you can't always control the entire environment for your kids, but finding ways to create an atmosphere that they are safe in, like they feel safe in, where you can go anywhere and we can be anywhere. And if I start singing, Micah, Dinosaur, Raw, like they will lock in with me and they will stop what they're doing and do what I do. And that, that is strategy, okay? That's mama wisdom, okay? Because it works. And yeah, so try it. Try it, try it with your babies and your toddlers. It may not work for the bigger kids, but for them toddlers, it's gonna work. <laughs>